Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand how to launch Firefox browser and then launch a URL when we are working on Selenium with Java. So basic prerequisite for this video is you should have some ID installed where your Selenium libraries are set up and obviously the Firefox browser is available. So for us to work on any browser, we would need that particular browser's driver available. So that is the first thing we need to do. I'm just going to show you how to download that. So you can search for Firefox driver download. And once you search, you'll be able to find this particular link on GitHub. Uh, another way to look for uh, the drivers is we can go on this website selenium.dev and go to download section and scroll all the way down in the browser section also. It will give you the link for all the different browsers. So for example, if I take a look at Firefox, it is going to give me this detail and then it is going to give me the link which is eventually going to navigate to the releases. So these both pages are same. Okay. Now the one most important thing to note is whenever you are going to work with any particular browser and driver, those should be compatible with each other. Okay. Otherwise, uh, the actions what we are going to perform are not going to happen. Okay, so the browser version which I have is actually working with the 32 version. So you can just click on this and it will give you all the related files. Since this is the latest version, you will be able to see the files here. But in case of previous releases, you cannot. You have to just click on that version and then you will be able to see all the related files. Now, depending on what type of machine you have, you can download the file accordingly. It will be a zip folder. So let's say if I'll click on this, it will be a zip folder and which we just need to extract and put it at a place where we know uh, it is located so that we can refer it in our script. Okay. Now this was the initial part. Uh, let me let me copy this URL and I'll place this in description section so that in case anyone needs to work with this, uh, they're able to find the drivers easily. I think I've already noted it down. Okay, so I'll place this in the description section. Okay, now coming to Eclipse. Uh, so I have a basic uh, Selenium project created in which I have all the Selenium libraries. So I'll just create a class, new class. And since we are going to talk about Firefox browser launch, I'll put Firefox browser launch. I uh, will select public static void main to give the initial structure to the code. Okay. Now, let me maximize this. The first piece of code is going to be set dot system. Sorry. System dot set property. Okay. And then we are going to pass two parameters. First is going to be web driver dot gecko dot driver now in case of other browsers it will be like web driver dot chrome dot driver but just in case of firefox it is called gecko driver so that's why we have to use the name gecko web driver dot gecko dot driver and here we need to mention the path of the driver okay so i have already downloaded and this is the compatible version with the version of the browser i have so i'm going to copy this path and we need to mention the file as well so we'll uh, manually type this let me go back here put this path and double forward slash the name is gecko driver dot exe okay and i'll put a semicolon here to end this and then the second line of code is going to be web driver with w and d capital driver is equal to new firefox driver and we will close this so you are going to get error populated here but just scroll above this and we'll get the option to import it from openqa.selenium same thing we'll do for the firefox driver and we'll be able to import this okay now these two two set of lines are uh, perfectly fine for us to launch the browser so since we have written this let's quickly run this and see if it works so I've clicked on run and see our Firefox browser is launched correctly. So let me close this 
and uh, this is the console session so i'll close this as well i'll quickly show a few things here so once we launch it uh, we need to pass a url so we can use driver dot get command and then whatever url we want to launch so let's say we want to launch uh, this particular url so i'll use this and uh, put in double quotes put the url whatever you want to launch okay a basic thing is when the url is launched it might be in minimize mode so we can use this command driver dot manage dot window dot maximize you get both the options maximize and minimize and then once it is loaded then we have to close it as well so we'll put driver dot close but i will put a comment in front of it because we want to see how it is working okay. now let me quickly run this so if i run this so your browser is launched and the url is passed and the url is loaded as well now we'll just enable this command and this is going to be a little quick so our browser is going to get closed as well so i'll click on this the browser is launched url is passed and then it will be closed as well so it is closed so since this video is going to just contain uh, how to launch firefox browser i'm going to wrap it up let me know uh, if you find this useful and then like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a great day bye bye